Hey, your shoe's untied. April Fools. Hey, so if you watched my video from last week, you probably remember that super epic scene where Batgirl crashes through a window. If not, then here's a reminder. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? Could you see what was happening? Neither could I. Hey, Brian, we couldn't see it. Oh. Okay. Uh, so then here it is again. <laughs> was that better? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all I've got. Anyway, I'm sure after seeing that, you're wondering how it was accomplished. Well, that's easy. Sugar glass. Sugar glass. Sugar glass. Sugar glass. So, yeah, today I'm going to make a video about sugar glass. Sweet. Sugar glass, or candy glass, is often used in movies for stunt scenes so that the actors don't get hurt. So now, without further ado, we shall go back in time to about a week ago when my mom was making sugar glass for Batgirl v Supergirl. Okay, I am going to demonstrate how to make um, fake glass, and we're going to make it out of sugar. So I'm going to start by rubbing my pan with some butter, and I want it all over the place. It'll just make it easier to clean off. And then I'm going to make my sheet of glass on this piece of aluminum foil, so I want to butter it as well. And that's so that the sheet of glass will come off. So sucrose is a really cool chemical because it changes its structure as it heats. So I'm just going to put some just regular table sugar in my buttered pot. Um, it doesn't matter how much. The more you use, the bigger your piece of glass is going to be. That's, I don't know, that's probably like a cup and a half. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to it just to kind of get it started. You don't want to saturate all of the sugar. And maybe just a little more. Okay. And, that, and it doesn't really matter how much water you put in it because you're going to boil this and then all of the uh, water is just, you know, if you have more water than this, that's fine. It'll just evaporate away. Now this process of heating it to the proper um, phase that sucrose um, becomes is, is very exact. In candy making, you will heat things to the um, softball stage, the hardball stage, the hard crack stage, and all of these various stages have been, you know, extensively studied and temperatures are associated with them. But for this, it doesn't matter that much as long as it gets hard enough to crack when something goes through it because that's what we ultimately want out of this material it's fine and so we're gonna I'm gonna just kind of we're not gonna bother with checking the temperature I'm just gonna kind of show you the various stages it goes through and and this this takes time and I don't know that the the video is gonna show you real time we may come back and just show you as it reaches these various stages. So as you can see now, the crystal sugar is starting to liquefy and it's starting to boil. So here it comes to a boil and when it first starts to get to a boil, we want to stir it around a little bit, just shake it around a little bit, just to kind of make sure that the the crystals on the edge of the that are clinging to the pan get into the the liquid mess. So it's it's got a good boil going on now. And notice that it's boiling really fast and the bubbles are popping as soon as they come up. And almost the whole surface is equivalent in the way it's boiling. That's going to change and it's those changes in what this boil looks like that we are going to use as cues to understand when it is ready to become a, a, a plate of glass. So I'm just keeping it moving a little bit. You probably don't have to do that, but it'll just keep your the edges of the pan a little cleaner. So this takes a while. 
but you may have noticed that the bubbling is a little different now. It's a, it seems slower, slightly slower, and as we let it go, it will get slower and slower. The molecules are meshing together in such a way that there's more tension and it takes more energy to break the bubbles, and so they stay bubbles longer. See, the watch pot is boiling, and it's continuing to boil, even though it's kind of boring. I'm gonna watch a pot of sugar boil. We're getting pretty close here now. You can tell by the color. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably pretty good, don't you? Yeah. So all I'm gonna do is just pour it on this foil that we buttered, and it's gonna, most of those bubbles are gonna just pop on their own. You spread it out as thin as you want it. If, yeah. If you're making a pane of glass, if it's too thin, you won't be able to handle it. If it's too thick, it won't break. Yeah. But, so this one will probably uh, set up, now you just leave it at this point. This mm -hmm. one will probably set up to be pretty brittle. Okay. So we've got examples here. This is one, if you notice, it's, um, it's pretty clear. It's, it didn't change colors much, but it's 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 too flexible. That's not going to make good glass. Yeah. This one's about the right color. It's similar to that. The stuff we just made. This is nice and brittle, just like glass. This guy, he got a lot warmer, and he's going to be real brittle too. So here's a piece of this, and you know he's almost even more brittle than that. But this is kind of a cool, cool color. Yeah. You no, know? no, Civil War comes out during finals week, so I don't know if I'll have time to make a good video then. Aww. <laughs> After that, though, it'll be summer, so maybe I could do something cool for the X-Men movie. Oh, hey, so did you like the video? Cool. Now, when we did it, we just sort of did it on the fly, approximating things. So you might want to be more careful than that. If so, you should try to add some corn syrup and some cream of tartar. Plus, you should probably try to be more accurate with the temperature so that you can avoid that lovely little burning smell that we got. <coughs> to do that, they say to use a candy thermometer get the temperature up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and keep it somewhere between that and 310 so that you can avoid it sticking to things later on. Anyway, I hope that you found this interesting and be sure to tune in sometime next week for another exciting episode. It'll be about something. Just a heads up though, I've discovered that I can't really promise a specific release day for these videos because of my school schedule and stuff. So just sort of check sometime in the later part of the week, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Be seeing you. I'm gonna watch a pot of sugar boil. Sugar boil. Sugar boil. 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 I'm gonna watch a pot of sugar boil.